Hey guys, thanks for watching Arizona's Arcade Heroes. Today we're going to take this Midway 12-in-1 home arcade and turn it into an Injustice 2 arcade cabinet. So buckle up, here we go. So first things first, when we rip open the back of this thing, we can see that it's got a lot of junk back here. It's got some sort of a cartridge system running the old school games. It's got a really ugly skin on the front with a huge bezel and a really small TV. Um, it's kind of weird. You can see the cartridge on the front right here. There's the Midway wooden marquee. So what we're going to have to do is gut everything out of here. We're going to have to reskin this, add the light up marquee, the new control deck, the Xbox One system, and the Injustice 2 game to play. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to rip this thing apart. All right, guys. So here's how many screws I pulled out of this thing. Um, I'm not kidding. I was sweating after I was done because not all these were in an easy to reach spot. I had to lay on my back. I had to manually unscrew about half of these. So it was a lot of work, but you can see we emptied out the cabinet. The marquee department is empty, which is interesting because I might use that for something, some sort of storage on the cabinet. But then we've got, you can see it's got a big empty cavity right here. And what's amazing about it was it actually had a TV, a CRT TV inside of the midway cabinet. And then even stranger was it had this cartridge system. So it had like the 12 games on a cartridge. Here's the joy, the control deck. This thing was not easy to get out at all. And then here's the power supply. So this thing's gutted, guys. So it's time to install a new monitor. Let's do this. So I think we're doing pretty good here. We've got our 22 inch monitor installed. And the reason I left the monitor kind of protruding like that, you guys, is that there's a lot of options right here on the monitor as far as brightness, angle, and I didn't want that to be covered up by the bezel, so I'll probably figure out a way to just black out the Samsung, but I really like how it pops like that, so I'm gonna leave it like that. And then I went ahead and attached this shelf right here so you can see there's my Xbox, but I'm gonna put a subwoofer down there and I'm gonna put the all the Raspberry Pi and everything, so you will be able to swing that open. Obviously these midway graphics are gonna go, all of this stuff is gonna go. I'm gonna paint this whole thing black and we're gonna put Injustice 2 skins all on the side of this. So this thing's gonna be bad. And then also the control deck. We're gonna have to mount our joysticks and our buttons and then map those to the Xbox One. So anyways, there's a look at it, guys. We're rocking and rolling. Okay, guys, so this is my control deck. Now, I actually bought this thing at Goodwill. I know I've had lots of people say, how the heck did you find this thing at Goodwill? But I did, and as you know, they come with the arcade sticks and the buttons. Now, here's what I did. Since this is gonna be used for an Xbox One, obviously you see we have our A, B, X, Y, L1, R1, but we needed those additional bumpers, so I drilled an extra two holes on each side with this step bit. Now, it did take me a while to get through there. I had to drill down through the top and then up through the bottom. Some of you may have seen me do this in my Ninja Turtles modding video, but I just skipped through that part because it's pretty basic. Um, you can get these step bits at uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, Harbor Freight. I'll put the link in the description. But now I'm going to throw another fresh coat of black paint on there just to smooth it out because we're going to be laying graphics on the control deck as well. So here we go. All right, so here I am. I'm going to add several light coats of black high gloss paint. That way we can get our control deck graphics put on there with a nice clean black background. All right, guys, so here's where we're at. We've got our cabinet being prepped for graphics. And you can see I used a jigsaw to cut out our speaker holes right above where the screen is going to be. And then underneath here, we've got our shelving system where I actually just used the existing shelves and... I put one right there to put the Xbox One, and then we left our subwoofer cabinet open. But the idea is um, I've got a custom light-up marquee coming for Injustice Arcade, and then we're going to be ready to go. So before I do any electrical installation or speaker, speaker installation, 
we got to finish making this thing jet black so we can get our graphics on there. So let's keep going. So same thing with the cabinet itself. Before we put the graphics on, we're going to give it several coats of high gloss black spray paint to give us a nice clean slate to work with. All right, guys, so it's time to lay down some graphics. So I actually went online and ordered these Injustice posters from Amazon. And there is a video online that I saw. It's actually a guy I subscribe to. I'm going to put the link in the description where he has a tutorial about this. He doesn't actually show the process, but he'll show you the end result. And it comes out fantastic, guys. And here's the secret. Mod Podge paper. So what you do is you lay down a very thin coat of that. And what I've done is I've gone around and actually cut out the part that's not going to be on the cabinet right here. And I'm going to cut that out. And I'm going to lay it down a little bit at a time. And I guess this Mod Podge paper actually washes with soap and water. So you just want to lay this down smooth, almost like you're putting a tint on your window or a vinyl decal on your cabinet. So we're going to go ahead and start that and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So I don't know guys, I laid down the first graphic and I see it's got some bubbles and stuff in there, which you guys can see, which he told me on the video would go away. So I'm gonna trust that. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna have to rip this off and sand it and start over. But there's our first layer. I laid down the Mod Podge with a brush and then I laid our graphic on there and it's pretty bubbly. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna let it dry thoroughly. All right guys, so we have our first round of graphics on, on the side. And I gotta say, there are some bubbles on it, um, but I'm gonna go by with what my man said in the link on the tutorial. They're gonna work themselves out because I laid these things on here very carefully. So to give you a better idea about the bubbling, if you look on this side, you can see a lot of the bubbling, but I laid it on flat and pressed it out the best I could. So we're gonna let that ride and let it dry for a little bit and then we're gonna find out what it looks like. So, on to the next part. All right guys, so we're actually doing pretty good now. I let these graphics sit overnight and they look absolutely phenomenal. So that saved me quite a bit on having to buy the graphics separately from a third party so you can see how great those look. Now I just wanna update you on what I've done so far. So I mounted these color changing LED speakers that are meant for a boat, they're waterproof. I mounted those right above the bezel in the holes that you saw. And what I've got going on also is the amplifier I did put on top, because when you're standing here playing this game, you wanna be able to reach up and turn the volume up and down. And then inside here, what we've got going on is I'm actually installing a power strip right here. So we've got our power coming down from the amplifier into the power strip. And now we're gonna hook up our speakers to the amp and we're gonna put our subwoofer down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll get on to the next part. Now keep in mind, I'm still waiting for the light up marquee from Game Room Solutions. And I'm also still waiting on the graphics for the control deck. So that part we're gonna have to do later, but we're off to a good start here. All right guys, so the same thing with the control deck. Before we lay the graphics down, I'm gonna use that Mod Podge paper. We're gonna roll a really thin coat on. That way when we put the graphics down, they will actually attach to the control deck and we'll be able to mount the buttons and joysticks right on top of the graphics. So here it is guys, I laid down the graphics on top and this is after I let it dry for a couple hours and you can see that it is laid on there nice and smooth and we've got our Injustice control deck ready to go. So next we're just gonna wait to get our buttons and joystick with our X Arcade conversion kit. And we'll get this thing ready to go. All right guys, so I just received a package from X Gaming. I believe this is our Xbox Arcade stick converter. So I'm gonna find out what's in here. Let's open this bad boy up. And it looks like that is exactly what it is. So if you guys haven't watched this already, um, Retro Ralph awesome YouTuber, a lot of excellent, excellent um, learning uh, learning opportunities on his channel. Go to Retro Ralph and subscribe to his channel. Uh, I watch it all the time. He's actually, he lives in Arizona, super cool guy, always very helpful. But basically, he has a tutorial on how to use these Xbox X Arcade encoders. So we've got our breakout box right here, and then I'm not sure what's in here. Let's open this up and find out. Okay, 
So here is our hookups for the cables. So everything we need to convert our Xbox One into the arcade joystick, we've got everything on there. And so there it is guys, we've got everything we need. So you know what's really cool about this is I, or I ordered this stuff like three days ago. So it came super fast. So X Arcade, nice delivery turnaround time guys, I'm super excited. So unfortunately I can't do anything with this yet because we've got to finish our graphics on the cabinet. but. Once we do, we will be hooking this all up and we'll be ready to go. All right guys, so it did not take long for me to go to Lowe's and get our plexiglass cut. I actually bought a $12 piece that he cut both sides out of and I had one extra piece for the leftover. Now this is our original Midway uh, marquee that was on the cabinet. So what I'm actually gonna do, I actually jigsawed about an inch off the top of this sign and I jigsawed about an inch off the side. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn this upside down and mount it back in here, screw it down from the top, and we're gonna mount our LED lights on this piece right here. And I picked up some LED lights, very cheap, at Walmart for five bucks. So I'll put the link in the description for that. It has a remote control so you can adjust the light setting. And then I also got some clear Gorilla Tape from Home D or from Lowe's, sorry, and I will put the link in the description for that as well, but that's what we're gonna use to fasten this together with our graphic inside. So let's get to work. Here we go. All right, guys, so there we go. I just use a teeny tiny bit that'll be under the trim of that clear Gorilla Tape to mount that. You can see it is looking good. So that's gonna go right on the top of our cabinet here. So I am very pleased with how it is coming along so far. So. Let's get this mounted and we'll see what it looks like lit up. But first we're gonna have to add our piece with the lights on the inside. All right guys, so we mounted our LED lights on the piece that's gonna go behind the lit marquee on the back of the original marquee. With our power cord going to the back. So I am now going to drill down through the top of this thing with two tiny screws and I'm gonna put this back probably about three or four inches and we're gonna screw it down from the top. So let's get that installed. All right guys, so there is our backlighting for our lit marquee. I screwed it down from the top and I will be putting a couple little rubber screw covers on top of this just to clean it up. But we screwed that down and you can see we left a gap on the sides for the LEDs to wrap around nice and clean. So now we're gonna put our marquee in front of it and see what it looks like. All right guys, so here it is, our finished Injustice Arcade cabinet. And guys, I gotta say, I am really pleased with the way that this came out. The graphics on the side look absolutely stunning. I added the Batman poster to the front. There's our control deck, and you can see our light-up marquee once it's on, looks wonderful. Those light-up speakers are a really nice touch. I'm gonna put the link in the description for those. They're actually meant for a boat but they look wonderful on the arcade. We've got a subwoofer in here with a Bluetooth amplifier. We've got the Xbox One underneath in the cabinet and we can run Injustice, Injustice 2, and any other Xbox One game that we want to play as well. So special thanks to Ralph, Retro Ralph. We appreciate your help in all the instructions, getting the control deck set up with the X Arcade pack. So please subscribe to him. And also thanks to you guys for watching. So please comment below and let me know if you guys have any questions or if you have any feedback for me on this build. It was a lot of fun. So thanks for watching again. And please like and subscribe for more tutorials and videos coming up. This is Arizona's Arcade Heroes, and I'm out of here. Now I stand here singing hallelujah, dedicated to you, know you're here. Now I stand here screaming hallelujah, dedicated to you, know you're here. Now could you come?